Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the Microsoft Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. What is it? It helps you remove viruses and other malware from your computer that your antivirus is having trouble removing. It's not a replacement for your antivirus software by any means. It is simply a secondary assistant to help you remove extra difficult to remove stuff. So to access this particular tool, all you have to do is hit Windows R to open up the run prompt and type in MRT. That should bring up the Windows malicious software removal tool. And this is basically going to scan your computer for any nasties that it might want to remove. And if you want some information on what it all does and what all it removes, there's some links here that will take you to their website to help you kind of learn more about it. This used to be something you had to install on the side with older versions of Windows. Now it comes pre-packaged, so it should be already installed. If it's not installed, you can just go to Microsoft's website and download it for free. Make sure to grab the 64-bit edition. So I'm going to hit next, and we've got some different options for what we're going to scan for. The first one is the one that most people probably want to do. Just occasionally doing a quick scan to make sure your computer's clean is a smart idea. It'll scan for the most commonly infected areas of your PC to make sure that there's nothing there that shouldn't be. If you suspect or have a reason to believe that your computer is infected because it's acting funny, you should do a full scan where it'll scan literally everything on your computer to make sure nothing is infected. If you're suspicious that a specific program or folder is infected, you can do a custom scan and select the file or folder that you want to specifically scan by clicking on the choose folder button. For my purposes, I have a brand new freshly installed uh, computer, so there shouldn't be anything on here. So I'm just going to do a quick scan to show you how it works. So all it's going to do is it's going to rip through all of the different files that are on my computer in the most commonly infected areas and make sure that there's nothing hiding there that shouldn't be there. That way I know for certain whether or not, you know, this computer is infected with anything and then this will allow me, if it detects something, to then remove it. Now, if you do decide to run this tool with a full scan, on your computer, it really just depends on how many files are, you know, on your machine, how many, how much software, how much junk is lying about in your trunk. The more stuff you have, the longer that these scans will take. So your mileage may vary on how long this process is going to take. This shouldn't take me more than a couple of minutes, though, with a quick scan, especially because this is a fresh install of Windows and I don't have a lot of stuff on this computer as of yet. All right, so that didn't take but like a couple of minutes to do its quick scan, which isn't too bad. And it didn't detect anything on my system, but if it had, it would allow me to click and check all of the different items that I want to attempt to remove from my machine. Although for the most part, if this tool detects something, it's usually able to remove it pretty handily. Um, a lot of times when you're using this tool, it's because you've detected that you have some type of specific problem on your machine, um, a virus or something that's like popping up and trying to like do something. And various companies will recommend you use this tool to remove it. Uh, that's when I first used it. So if you're curious what it scans for, it'll show you a bunch of the different malware here that it's looking for and if it detected it or not. And you can just click OK. And if you want more information, again, you can just click on Protect Your PC to see more information. And this isn't a replacement or an alternative to your typical antivirus program. This is just a secondary tool that helps you find difficult to detect malware to be removed with this tool. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has just been a quick look at how you use the Windows malicious software removal tool. It's pretty quick and easy to use. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. And toodles.